Today we're going to be learning about what pressure is. Pressure is defined as the amount of force per area. So for gases, uh, they exert a pressure on any surface in which they come in contact. You can think of pressure caused by a gas to be the average amount of force that, that gas molecules exert on a particular area. To change the pressure in a fixed volume, you can do two things. You can change the temperature by heating up the molecules where they will hit the surfaces more often, creating more force, or you can slow them down so they won't hit the sides of the container as often, creating less force, and also they're moving slower, so they're not going to be creating such an impact on the sides. You can also change the pressure by changing the moles of molecules. Here we're going to reset the simulation and put only a couple moles of molecules into the container. Notice that they don't hit the walls very frequently at all and that the pressure is very low. To increase the pressure, we can add more moles of gas. If you add enough of them, you might even pop the container. I don't think this amount of moles is going to work, so we can add a couple of more, see if that's going to work. Look at the pressure we are creating by making these moles of gas hit the container side so often. If we increase the heat, you might even pop the container. There it goes. There are other ways you can change pressure. You, uh, if you have a constant number of moles, you can still change the pressure by manipulating the volume of the container. Notice as we squish the container, the molecules move faster and they hit the sides of the container more frequently, creating more force. And also, we're shrinking the surface area of the container. So we're doing a double. We are increasing the force and we are decreasing the area. And that's how you can change pressure in the container. We also use pressure to measure atmospheric pressure. We measure that using a barometer, and sometimes we measure pressure in millimeters mercury. Uh, barometers work by putting an empty tube in a vat of mercury, and the mercury metal will actually climb up the tube depending on how much pressure is squishing it. That's why we use the unit millimeters mercury to describe the atmospheric pressure. The higher it climbs, the more pressure. We can simulate how this works by using this very simple model of adding weights to a liquid in a half-open, half-closed system. We can change it to make it a little bit more like mercury by increasing the density of this liquid to be more like honey, and you'll see that the weights move less. It's very important for us to standardize which liquid we're using so that we can have a standard millimeters mercury, a standard amount of change. And that's all we have to do about gases today. Thanks for watching.